In this presentation, we're going to be looking at coordinating across uh, voltage levels. So far in ELEC 364, when we've been doing coordination, it's been at one voltage level. Uh, but the reality is, is there's going to be a transformer somewhere in the system, and we need to know how to handle coordinating uh, through a transformer. So essentially, there's two factors that we need to consider. Uh, the first one being the transformer turns ratio. So this is basically just a matter of making sure that we include A3 phase when we're looking at the current that's coming through the transformer. And the second factor to look at is we need to look at how the power transformer is connected. Um, and when, it's, when it is connected in a delta Y or a Y delta, it has an effect on the line-to-line the -line current that's coming through the transformer. So these are the two factors that we're going to be looking at. So looking at this single line diagram, um, I'm just going to draw and label on here our, our I primary, and we're going to have I secondary. Um, and essentially, if we had like a three-phase voltage fault at bus C, um, current is going to be flowing uh, from the source to the fault, and it's going through the transformer. So what we want to do is we want to calculate what is the primary current when the fault is on the secondary side, and it's a three-phase uh, bolted fault. So essentially, since this fault is is balanced, um, we can gen we can calculate that that I primary is simply going to be I secondary, um, and this will be the uh, the three-phase uh, faulted current divided by A3 phase, right? So that will be what the primary current is. And we know that A3 phase from previous courses is going to be our V line to line primary over our V line to line secondary. So this allows us to calculate what the primary fault current will be when the, uh, when the fault is on the secondary and it's a three phase bolted fault. Let's now look at uh, unbalanced fault condition. So um, let's look at the current flowing through the transformer when there's a line-to-line -line fault at bus C. So this would be used for setting the tap um, at for 51A, for example, because this is the, the minimum current seen in the, the backup zone, which is the line-to-line -line fault. So let's look at uh, these currents, line-to-line uh, -line current when the transformer is connected delta-delta or YY. So when it's connected delta delta or YY, um, the primary current line to line is uh, simply the secondary current line to line divided by A3 phase. So this is no different than what we've been doing uh, um, so far in the course. And we could also look at that I primary line to line is equal to 0 0.866 times I secondary three phase over A three phase. So just like we did before, um, if only if the only current we know is the three phase current, we can simply uh, multiply by 0 0.866 to convert it to line to line. Now let's look at the delta to Y and Y to delta. So here there's a little bit of a current redistribution that's happening in the transformer because of this connection. And uh, on D2L I actually um, created a little PDF which, which is a proof of this um, just to show you how the current becomes a, a factor of 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.866. Uh, so anyways, let's look at the equation here again. So I primary line to line uh, we know is I secondary line to line over A3 phase. So if we're given the secondary line to line current, we simply go through the power transformer, right? We simply go through A3 phase to reflect the current on the primary. Um, however, if uh, if we don't know the, uh, the line to line current, I can find the line to line current from the three phase current. So I primary uh, line to line. So now we have a factor of 0 0.5 times I secondary, oops, sorry, I secondary a three phase. And uh, this is divided by A three phase again as well. So notice here, the factor is 0 0.5. So when the transformer is a 
delta to y or y to delta to get the line to line current it's 0.5 times i secondary three phase and when the connection is a delta y to y delta or sorry delta delta to y y um, it's the factor is 0 0.866 so really the only difference now is you have to look out for is look out for the transformer connection if it's delta y y delta the factor is 0.5 so in summary, when coordinating across a transformer, uh, the first thing we need to do is, is calculate the transformer uh, three-phase turns ratio. And the next thing we want to do is identify the transformer connection type. If it's a delta-delta, yy, the factor we use to calculate the line, the line current through the transformer is 0.866 times the three-phase. If the transformer is delta-y or y-delta, um, we use a factor of 0 0.5 times the three phase to calculate the line to line current when going through the transformer. So when we're looking at setting the tap setting, so let's say for example we want to set the tap for uh, for 51A um, and let's call this uh, CT ratio A uh, and then let's say there's a line to line uh, line to line fault at this bus here so we need to go through uh, the transformer so this is going to be a line to line current that we use to to set the tap so what we need to do is we need to look first of all is this a is this a delta y or is this a a, a y delta connection so if that's the case then i 51 a so the minimum current seen by by this relay is going to be uh, uh, I51A minimum which is going to be the line to line current is going to be equal to um, 0 0.5 times I3 phase right and in this case this is at bus C and this needs to be divided by um, the power transformer so A3 phase and as well, it needs to be divided by the CT ratio because that is the current that the, the relay sees. So that's uh, how we handle delta Y or Y delta. And then if it's a if it's a delta delta or if it's a Y Y, um, it's simply then I fifty one A minimum is equal to zero point eight six six times I3 phase uh, and in this case it's at bus C and this is again we divide this by A3 phase uh, times the CT ratio of A. Um, for the tap setting the tap setting is based on the maximum common fault current so in this example then um, I51 a, I'll just put max um, is going to be equal to um, I3 phase and this is in this example it's at bus B and this is going to be over A3 phase times the CT ratio of A so um, notice because it's a three phase uh, bolted fault, there's no, uh, no factor to take into consideration. Um, and if it's a, again, a delta Y or Y delta, the factor is 0.5. If it's delta delta or Y Y, the factor is uh, 0.866. Uh, let's do a, a quick example here, just to show how uh, we would coordinate through the transformer. So I'm going to make this power transformer 138 kV to 13.8 kV. I'll make the CT 100 to 5. Um, we'll assume that 51B is already set. So I'll give a fault current here at bus C, three-phase fault current of 2,000 amps, and a three-phase fault current at bus B of 3,000 amps. So what we want to do is we want to try and find out what is this relay current when there is a 
align to line faulted by C. This will allow us to set the tap of 51A. So tap of 51A is going to be equal to, and I'll just call this I51A minimum. And we know this is the line to line current in order to set the tap. So um, I forgot to give this transformer a connection type. So let's call it delta to Y. So since it's delta to Y, the multiplication factor will be 0 0.5 times I3 phase. And this will be at plus C. And this is all over A3 phase times CT ratio of A. So I have to go through the three phase turns ratio of the power transformer and as well the CT ratio um, to find out what the relay 51 AC is. So if I work this out, If I solve this, I get 5 amps. So now I could go ahead and, and figure out, based on my tap range, which uh, tap I would select. Um, so looking at the time dial, of 51. So this will be I51A for the maximum uh, common fault current. And this will be the current at bus B. So this will be I3 phase. And this is at bus B. And this will be divided by A3 phase times CT ratio of A. And in this example, the three phase current at bus B is 3000 amps divided by our power transformer. And our CT ratio. So this should give me 3,000 divided by 10 divided by 20. I should get 15. So 15 amps uh, for the current going to the relay uh, to set the time dial. So you would continue on and calculate uh, the time dial as uh, you would normally. And you can see that the only difference um, just to look out for is, is when you're calculating the three-phase fault current, there's no difference simply divide by the transformer turns ratio when you're calculating the line to line fault you just have to look and see what is the connection um, because you use a different multiplying factor depending on how the transform is connected so that's the end of the lecture and if you have any questions just get a hold of me thanks